The State of Art Center of Sickle Cells becomes the sixth in the country that has recently been launched to tackle the sickle cells condition in the country. Dr. Jen Ruther Cheng, the, the Minister of Health, says the ministry has contracted local pharmaceutical industries to start manufacturing hydroxyurea, essential medicine for patients. In that we have two industries in Uganda that will soon start manufacturing hydroxyurea. We have simpler quality chemicals and we have the day pharmaceuticals that have committed to manufacture hydroxyurea for use in Uganda. Again, once they start, we'll have to enter into a negotiation for affordable prices. Until recently, hydroxyurea was not approved in the country for treatment of sickle cell disease. The government has made the drug available and free of charge. First of all, it is exciting to note that we are now able to provide hydroxyurea, which is a drug that is internationally known, uh, to improve the quality of lives of people with sickle cell disease, it reduces the episodes of pain and many other crises, and makes them live a near normal life. We have started providing these medicines free of charge. It is to be taken for life. Currently, we are not able to provide for all the sicklers in the country because one, it is expensive, and two, we don't yet have clear budget lines for this. Over 16,000 patients of sickle cells are registered at the clinic and close to 100 to 200 are attended to each day. Bring a total figure, 1,500 sickle cellers attended to per month. The head of sickle cells clinic highlights the challenges first. Critically reviewing the functioning of the Mlago sickle cell clinic in Uganda. This is the heart of sickle cell care in Uganda and the region. I pledge our support to the Center of Excellency and to the clinic uh, so that you can continue to give quality care to the Ugandans. We thank Zahara Abigawa, UBC. Please, so as we do the 